This episode of At brought to you by GoToAssist Express. Learn more at GoToAssistExpress.com. Andrew Moore Crispin here at CES 2010. We bumped into our friends from GM OnStar here with Nick Pudar. We see here the Chevy Volt. This is a lot closer to what we might see in a, in a showroom in the coming years. Um, last time we saw this guy, it was kind of a prototype, uh, maybe not quite as shiny. So what are we announcing here at CES 2010? Well, what we're going to show is the, uh, a new mobile application for control of the Volt. Okay. And this application allows the customer to have um, insight into the state of charge of the vehicle, gives them some of uh, the OnStar controls to lock, unlock the car, be able to precondition the cabin of the vehicle, get it comfortable using the energy from the grid instead of using the battery while you're driving. Oh, okay, so like on a cold morning we can yeah. heat up the car and have a nice, nice comfortable temperature. We could be lying in bed and we could, That's before right. we even start the shower, be like, you know what, warm up yeah, the car, it's going to be cold out there. That's exactly right. All right, so what are some of the other cool things we can some do Some of the with other this? nice things, um, I can give you a little demo here if yeah, you'd like sure, to see. Um, right now, the vehicle can be set in one of two different modes, either an immediate charging mode when you plug it in it starts charging, or in a grid-friendly mode. And right now we have it in grid-friendly mode, and the vehicle's going to wait until off-peak pricing for a lower, oh, lower okay. cost. But you know, I may think, hey, I got to pick up my daughter at a basketball practice sure. tonight, so I want to use some electric charge for that, so I want to start charging now. So I can actually send a signal to the vehicle to do a one-time override and actually start charging the vehicle immediately for me so that when I need to go out, it's got some energy. Okay, that cool. I can so use the Volt is smart enough to say, okay, well, now the prices are low, say 9 o'clock in right. my area, uh, the, the price of electricity dropped. I'm going to start charging now. Exactly. But if I desperately need to go do something, pick up, a, do pick up a quarter milk or whatever it might be, I can do it sure. for you. Yeah, very cool. More juice. The other so what, thing is, you know, we're all accustomed to charging our cell phones at night and our laptops at night. Yeah. And, you know, people are going to have to learn how to deal with this new vehicle sure. that has to be plugged in. Yeah. Um, it can give you some nice notification reminders. So right now we have a little notification over here where if I forget to plug my vehicle in, only if I forget to plug my vehicle in, and right now I've got it set for 8 o'clock at night, it'll send me a text message to remind me. Okay. Or if my family member might take the vehicle, bring it back home, forget to plug it in, sure. it'll, it'll do that for me. I can also have it let me know if the charge has been interrupted for some reason. Okay, so, so like if the power a, goes out right. or someone so plugs it. Really, you know, we're trying to bring as much relevant, meaningful capability to this application for the vehicle, because the, the Volt is a different kind of a vehicle, and it's going to really uh, excite a lot of people. Yeah, absolutely. The application is going to be available on the major platform right now on the iPhone, on the on the Droid, as okay. well as the BlackBerry Storm. And, and when the vehicle launches, we'll likely have it on more phones. And when are we going to see the launch of the Vault? When are we kind of looking forward to well, right that? Right now we're looking at the end of 2010. Very so, cool. And yeah. I get to drive this thing off the show floor. I think we agreed on uh, that, I think right? we did agree on okay, that. Okay, great. Right. Thanks, now, Andrew. when are we going to see um, accelerometer steering of our Vault? Is that going to be coming soon? So we can take. We can take. Yeah, we'll think about it. Yeah, we'll think about it. Right, we'll look forward and to actually, seeing that. Actually, right now the applications are available for download. You can take a look at this um, um, online. Okay, cool. And so, where are people going for more information to find out a little bit more information about the uh, apps that are available? You can go to OnStar.com. OnStar.com sounds like a logical place to go. Nick, thank you very much. Thanks, Andrew. Thank you. Bye -bye. This episode of At brought to you by GoToAssistExpress. Learn more at GoToAssistExpress.com.